Hello, this is Dwarf Studio. In this video, we'll introduce how to create an atmospheric visualization for this building. For this scene, I envision a rain-soaked ambience. Begin by disabling the auto exposure option and selecting a fitting HDRI. The D5's preset early morning is an excellent match. Diminish its brightness and adjust its orientation to achieve a crisp sky. Okay, let's proceed to arrange the visual framing. I want to capture the building centrally in a portrait layout. Activate the grid for guidance and expand the field of view accordingly. Initiate the two-point perspective by pressing the F8 key, ensuring that the building's edges align neatly with the grid's vertical lines. Remember to update these changes in the scene list. The foreground provides the initial focus before viewers explore deeper into the scene, so I placed a stick tilted to direct their attention to the building. I searched through the D5 asset library, downloaded, and interspersed a few free rock models among the lawn. Beyond enhancing the lawn's natural appearance, these rocks would elegantly conceal the bare junction where the lawn meets the fence. A layered middle ground landscape incorporates a diverse array of tree species. Start by setting evergreens around the building. Opt for a couple of large trunked trees to serve as focal points and to close any significant gaps. To fill the expansive areas along the fence, we can use the brush tool to paint bushes covering the tree roots. These lower plants would also enhance the frame balance. Here's a tip to quickly hide the skyline. Add a backdrop plane with a wooded context. Switch back to D5 Render, and you'll see that the plane has been instantly updated through the D5 Live Sync plugin. Last but not least, add some trees in front of the camera so that the sky would appear more harmonious. Now we can switch on the layers of grass painted on the lawn. The scene immediately becomes realistic and natural. Before rendering the final visuals, give the sky, the glass and the wall materials some tweaks. Head to the effect post-production panel and lower the exposure and contrast parameters, enhancing the overcast ambience. Fine-tune highlight and shadow for a more pronounced interplay of light and dark. To instill a warmer tone in the image, gently shift the white balance slider to the right. Now we can start rendering images and animations. D5 offers multiple channel map options to give you a better control over the visual outcome. For this instance, we just need a simple linear gradient using the camera raw filter. Moreover, we'll introduce a radial gradient to further illuminate the lawn. Well, that completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.